Here it is. Chow KK versus WFZ. Orc versus Undead, Trello Rock, and it's close positions, actually. This can be fairly problematic for the Undead if he starts Fiends early, late hero. But WFZ always, always, always plays fast hero nowadays. Even on Trello Rock, which was always uh, in the past historically a late hero map. Because it's hard to creep with the DK on his own, because there's no critters. Lots of creeps. Not a single critter, though. So starting off with the skeletons is a little difficult. If the Blade Master is super aggressive, he can go towards the Acolytes. Um, there should not be a wall off in time, but it's unlikely that he kills more than one. And since there are six Acolytes, killing only one really isn't worth it. He would much rather be start creeping, start stacking up the Blade Master. As long as he is still overpowered, <laughs> I guess. Of course, the critical strike nerf is gonna hit Nettie's very soon. I've been playing quite a bit of ladder myself, and I must say it ha has become noticeable. Blade Masters level 5 are way less scary than they used to be. On level up to level on 4, you start noticing a difference, and on level 3, uh, uh, on level 5, I mean, I think it's uh, yeah, really, really noticeable. Also, you see it from the people you play and the strategies they pick, because there's a lot of Farseers. Lots of Farseers. So I recommend better scouting and perhaps even a 6th Acolyte standard um, yeah, to, be, to be safe against Wolf Harass, should you guys play, be under the players. players are under so here are the heroes. This is the start here for WFZ, creeping with the ghoul as well. To fasten up his creeping a little and take less damage on the DK. He has his skeletons now. He can uh, creep fairly well now with this. Has a narrow tower already. The usage of the ghoul plus the narrow will slow down his tech a little. This is pretty greedy, honestly. Oh, this is so greedy by Shell KK. So he didn't scout, of course. Uh, well, I guess he could have because he's too borrow teching, but he didn't scout anyways. And the DK could be aggressive. If the DK was aggressive here. With the right timing, this could be disastrous for him. Of course, if you don't get punished here, this is so nice because you can creep this entire camp with only one grunt, if you do it right, that is. Plan of energy, very nice. No tone of experience for him, but still, this is gonna be level 2. But yeah, if the DK was aggressive here, this would be pretty painful for Shao KK, but well... WZ decided to creep up himself and he also found very nice items. Circlet and Mantle. Everything that gives the Undead mana is very welcome. So Techstar has started here and has also started here. So in fact, WFZ is ahead a little bit in tech. Unusual. Because of the two Boro tech here. But Shao Keke has opted for. Um, not really the meta anymore. I guess we see it mostly against Undead if we do see it. We do also see it against Human and Night Elf occasionally. Oh, I guess in the mirror it's always two borrow tech, right? I think it is, but I mean, we don't really see too much mirror, thankfully. Wait a minute, is he like, not really going for the Ogre Lord, right? No. Are under attack. He's walking around the back here, so he doesn't get scouted. Skeleton also keeping vision on his shop, doesn't want to give up the war too easily to the Blade Master would be his second war. Dude, he is power leveling though. He's level 3 already. Gonna be, in just a moment. Nice grunt scouting. Fairly predictable where the undead is gonna be hanging at, hanging around at. More fiends are coming. Did he forget to make a fiend, maybe? I don't know. Well, very calm early game here. No aggression at all yet, but this is gonna change. Blade Mass is running over with the level 2 wind walk. Very speedy. More and more grunts attack. coming. He's gonna have four grunts. That's pretty... Pretty heavy on the grunts. 15 supply in the tier 1 units. Oh, if he gets a DK block here. This could even be a TP. He does not have a scroll of speed though. Makes this difficult. Oh, what's the DK doing? He's surrounded there! WFZ, what the hell are you doing? Gets the staff, so... Nice reaction at least. But now the Fiend, this one may very well die. Could get blocked here. Four units around! Ooh, that was nice. But what was he? He knew the Blade Master was stalking him. 
what did he want to get at the shop? Maybe he wanted to get a dust to be able to reveal the Blade Master. If he had to go back to his main to get the dust, then maybe he would have given up the shop to his opponent. Maybe that was his thinking. Didn't work out too well though in the end. Good grunt usage. This is the one thing that Shao KK is known for doing very well. Early game grunt control is his strength. Oh my god, is he gonna get both fiends here? That would be crazy. The good blocks continue here. DK has quite a bit more mana though. So for the time being the fiends are still alive. Grunt block again. Toil's ready though. Damn, these grunt blocks, man. is They're really good. Alright, with the slow tower now coming in. He may actually be able to find this grunt kill. Lich is coming out. Uh, no, Lich isn't out soon enough. Could have perhaps opted for the Nova first there. DK. These two items here, certainly helping him out. Plus five intelligence means now he still has a coil. Has lost a fiend early though. Ooh, and that is a super quick tier three rush. Blade Master scouts this as well. Oh, he bought the boots? Old school. With the boots especially, and with there being two fiends only and nothing else, and DK low mana, I think he should be aggressive here. He still has all his four grunts alive. SH is coming over with the scroll of speed. This could be the TP forced. If there's enough crits, this could even be the DK dead. As he is still low HP. SH is coming in. Blade Master too far away though. Um, wasn't controlling that quite perfectly. But he forces the TP anyways. Could have put more damage on the DK. Um, wasn't quite able to do that. Is he trying for it again? There's healing potions now for the DK of course. Pops one early. Doesn't want to risk getting killed. Oh, his fiends are stuck here. Nice base layout though. Is gonna bring them to safety here. Way in the back. The grunts can't reach. Wow. That is actually such a perfect base. Uh oh, who's gonna die first? It could be the Blade Master. He's dropping low speed scroll to get out. And that will save him. Looked very scary there for WFZ, but this awesome base. God damn. That's like so nice. It just. You guys saw that, right? That was really good. So in the end. The SH wasted a lot of his time. He was able to uh, force the TP, but that's it. And WFZ could go for Pitlord timing here very soon. Pitlord timing with a statue or two, orb. And against that, you have to have a level 3 SH, usually. Level 2 at the very least. Raider scouting here. But that's only distraction, as the SH is creeping up in the north. The red camp. Oh, that's the rounding stick. Has to go for the hex. He has it now, though, right? Yeah, he does. Okay. So this creeping won't be delayed by too much. Ooh, can the raider steal it? That would be so sick. He needs a couple of hits, though. <laughs> it's too many. You can't get it. Tone of experience over here. As we just saw the little circle. I don't know, what is it? Like dust? Um, cloud? You know what I mean. Lots of mana for this SH, dude. Holy shit. 540. Doesn't want to give the agility over to the Blade Master, it seems. The SH does uh, benefit from the agility for damage as well. Something we forget sometimes. SH is an agility hero. Which is... Uh, doesn't seem to make sense on paper. I guess Blizzard's thinking there was... If he was an intelligence hero, it would be too strong. As he would benefit from mana, which is very good for him as a healer, and also right-click damage. Or maybe it was like philosophical, I don't know. So here's the tier 3, we have the orb, he steals this last hit, Lich is almost level 2. If Lich was level 2, DK is level 3, greater- wow. If Lich here gets level 2, which he will, right? I think he can just go pit lord and finish this game. Like, he has like nothing. Shao KK has like nothing. Level 2 SH is not good enough. Undeads do need 3 heroes though. Oh, macro mistake here. He forgot about the ziggurat for a while. That could perhaps give Shao Keke a decent opening. Here's the orb. Blade grabs it up. Oh, I like the dust here, which he did not forget about. No borrow here on this fiend, or if he does have it, he could certainly missed it. Dark Ranger comes out. Silence on the TC. Not using the Nova yet. Gonna get the first raider. Not. 
Could have gotten it with a Nova. And Fiend Micro not good enough here to... There's a Nova, but into the scroll of speed. So actually, this fight is looking pretty good for Shao Keke, but I think that is, uh, yeah, thanks to WZ's imperfect play. Lich surrounded, no invul, needs to transfer the TP. Ah, he doesn't have a TP anymore. Well, of course you can't go into a fight like that without an invul. He buys him back though. Still lots of mana on this DK, thanks to the greater mana, which he just used. Late Master coming in, however, again. Silence on two heroes, that was a nice one. Purge coming in against the Lich, he doesn't have the mana for the Frost Armor at the moment. Costs 40 mana. He's very close. Microing the statue here pretty nicely, so he has the Frost Armor again now. Should apply it to himself, and there it is. Kodo Beast now. He's gonna get taken out, that's gonna give him a Fiend back. If he follows him... Oh, really, he morphed the Destroyer. That seemed like a waste of money, but okay. At least takes a while to take this one out with only the heroes here deal doing real damage. Level 3 for the SH. Oh my god, that's such a big upgrade. He has so much mana still. How does he still have so much mana? Did he not use Heal Wave? He used one on the Raider. Did he have a mana potion maybe? Uh, he may have had. I missed it then. Pretty manageable damage here on the Undead side. Since there's barely anything left. Let's surround it again. There's only one coil by the way. That's gonna be the last one. SH has more and... Dude, he has so many heal wave, it's ridiculous. He uses it too late, though. I don't know if it was on cooldown or he was just a little slow there. Frost armor again. If he gets a purge here, this could be the lich kill. And snare, crit, purge, something. Trying to block him. Hoo -hoo, that heal wave! On a sliver of health. He's trying to pra transfer something. Items towards him. Healing potion still for this blade master. And still more heal waves. SH is... Bathing in mana this game, it seems. And Shao KK, uh, this was a long fight, but he certainly wins it in the end. His team, his TC may have died, but was only level 1 is almost back already. And with this now, he grabs map control. What's he gonna do with this? I would like him, I would like to see him take the shop. Oh, he transferred the e orb, by the way, before he died. That was a pretty slick play. Maybe in the future he should try to go for more standard plays, though. Like making ziggurats in time and buying interval potions. I heard that's pretty good. Also, microing a little bit better might be nice. As it stands, though, the big favorite here is pretty far behind, dude. Usually you don't want to give the orc the time and space to creep up more. Ooh, Cloak of Flames, that's pretty nice. Blade Master should be able to stand pretty deep in the Undead Army. Then again, Focus Fire is always a danger. Good Peon Scout here. He could totally creep jack this, by the way. But he was over at the Red Camp, so he took the Red Camp and the shop. These are big creep camps for him as well. Ring of Region. me. Gonna sell this. But he can steal the invul here, which is really nice. How is WZ gonna get the invul then? Unlikely to be able to. Lich is back, finally. 44 supply versus... what's he got? 49, so... The discrepancy here isn't too big, but the levels, man. The levels! There's a big difference there. It's gonna be level 4 SH, which doesn't matter too much, but there's level 2 TC getting closer to 3, and Blade Master! 4 and a half already. He doesn't have the sickest inventory here, but with Kodos coming in, which I certainly expect to be added into the army very soon, that is gonna change. He doesn't have the upgrade yet. He seems to be forgetting about it. Certainly has the resources to get it. This could be a good uh, creep jack here for WZ with the back of the orc army exposed and... Well, he does have a scroll of speed here to reposition, which he's gonna use right away. A-bomb, that's a big target for the Kodo. WZ cannot afford to let this one get munched up. Call Nova immediately on a raider, and that means, well, that the heroes are safe for now for the orc. First fiend already dead with crits, one after the next! End snares, purges, fiends can't move! And the Cloak of Flames doing decent damage as well. Lich in a bad position again, could just surround him once more. In fact, he is surrounded. One coil is going to be there. But once again, no invul potion is going to spell his end as he dies to the blade once again. TC isn't even going to be traded here, I don't think. GG. And Shao KK wins. I really did not expect this. But he surprises us here. And takes out WFZ. Of course, uh, close position to the rock. Very unfortunate for WFZ. That definitely played into the orc's hands. Still though, um, yeah. I think Shao KK deserved to win that game. 
WZ made a couple of mistakes there, which mm, he wasn't supposed to make. WZ threw the game on the last fight. You think so? I think that fight was uh, the game was pretty much over after the first fight, basically. That didn't have to do with a patch, dude. The Blade Master crit did not decide that game. Come on, don't be silly, buddy. Map number two is gonna be Ancient Isles. Don't forget, guys, you gotta stay hydrated. I haven't seen the hydrated bot today yet. Maybe it's his day off. Does TC have a greater hitbox? Maybe putting Clock of Flames on TC would do more damage to surrounding units. Hmm. He definitely has a bigger hitbox, so it's like easier to surround him and stuff. And that should also extend the AoE uh, of the Clock of Flames. So I think theoretically you're right, that should, you know, increase the damage. But the TC is slower than the Blade Master, especially with boots on the blade. And yeah, you can position into the middle of everything if you want to way better with the Blade Master. Plus he has the Purge, the Blade Master, so units basically can't walk away from him. So I think it's better on the blade. <clears throat> WFZ versus TBC is going on at the same time, I think. Uh, uh. I believe Tad is streaming this. Let's take a look. So many pop ups on Doyo. Uh, yes, he is. I don't know if it's the first or second game, though. Looks like the second game. Well, we're going to be informed about the outcome later, I guess. We're going to, of course, stay with the upper bracket here. Shao KK, now one map away. I really did not expect this at all. Well, of course, he hasn't defeated WFZ yet. This is a best of three after all. WFZ still has a chance here to come back. Thank you for the host, Incinerator. What do you think about the fact that Orbifacts cancel out special hero attacks like Black Arrow, Cold Arrow, Fire Arrow, Stacking Attack Damage? Do you think Orbifacts should not cancel these? I feel like it limits the viability of some heroes with these effects. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's something that could just be changed, that orb effects could stack. I don't think it would make a big difference. I guess Blizzards, when they Blizzard when they designed this, were like, oh my god, imagine, I don't know, a Lich with an orb of corruption plus an orb of lightning. Oh my god, so overpowered. And it could be pretty strong, but how likely is it that you already have two orb effects? Now, if you, for example, go for a Naga and she has orb and, um, like orb of corruption, for example, and the cold arrow, that's pretty strong. I don't know. What did I, I don't know if it was it would be broken. I don't think it would be broken. And I don't think it excludes some heroes from uh, being viable. I don't think so. I don't think that's big enough of a deal, honestly. So, uh, map number two. That's right. Every bit of lag here. <coughs> that is slightly unstable here. I hope it yeah, stabilizes itself. And that base, fast hero, as always. Always, always, always from WFZ. And over here, Blade Master, of course. Is he gonna go for the two borrow tech again? I must say, I do prefer the one borrow tech. The SH being low level could have really cost him last game. 
It ended up not though, so it was fine, I guess. Acolyte did get the scout off. Of course, there's no surprise here. And yeah, he is going. Shao KK is going for the most predictable creep route. What's the DK's creep route? Is the question here. Once again, going for that one ghoul creep. You can do this more greedily. You can go for the uh, shop creep. You can do that with only the DK, actually. You kill the sheep here, and then you creep this one. It is fairly hard to do, and if you get jacked, it's bad. But usually the orc doesn't creep jack this. Because he will at least creep the ogre mage right here, then go back to heal up, and then usually go over here, I think. As it's closer, ring for the blade, claws for the DK. Good start now for WFZ. Oh, I like the Acolyte Scout here. The Red Camp, at least the Soul Warlord, can easily be sniped by the Blade Master even early on. But if you scout for it, you can prevent it. And with the scout being here. Oh, does he cancel the heal self? Cancel. Fight back. Bam! He gave him the headbutt, did you see? But he also gave him level 2. Yeah, but of course now he has given away his positioning. So does he still want to go for the red cam? Would be risky. He doesn't want to take this risk. DK keeps on creeping up by himself. He gets the circlet and he does go for the red camp. Ooh, I, I don't know about this choice. He's not even scouting out with a second grunt or anything. Skeleton is gonna scout this. I don't think it's in time though. He may be able to run down this grunt. There's no scroll of speed here. The DK could kill this grunt, definitely. Too late. Oh, oh can the skeleton get it? No, can't steal it. Heal awards, not gonna be good enough. One hit, punch, coil, dead. Why did you take that risk? Well, I guess he wanted the big item. Was it worth it? I don't know. Certainly gonna make his mid game quite a bit weaker here. A grand loss is significant. But you can save a lot of money with these heal wards. Gonna help especially with creeping. And perhaps if it's not taken out quickly enough, could even be good in a fight. So DK getting more rods with his first fiend. Deciding on what to creep up next here. Blade Master, is he gonna get the boots again? No. Not this time. Alright. He is being scouted here by the skeleton again. Don't start it! Don't you start it! He also sees the skeleton has the aura, so he knows the DK is around even if he didn't see him. That's way too risky, dude. Don't do it, Shao KK. Saves a lot of mana here on his blade. If he could get to level 3 here somehow, it would be very nice for him to have a lot of Windwalk duration on tier 2. But with having lost a grunt earlier... Oh, that's pretty cool! I like that play. I can creep this with only one grunt with that heal ward. And the other grunt is uh, yeah, distracting the DK. DK couldn't, in fact, run him down here by using two coils. But he's not gonna do that. That's a very nice play here by Shao KK. The DK is yeah, scared into taking only a little camp just by this nice grunt movement once again. Shao KK's grunt control proving to be very good. And he does get level 3 here, with only one grunt. Really nice comeback here into the mid-game. I mean, it wasn't looking horrible for him, but losing the grunt certainly wasn't nice. Let's compare the techs. Tier 3 already on its way. SH coming out. Literally a little bit later. But only a couple of seconds later. Oh, and he wants to get the next red item as well. Skeleton scouts it! Oh, he's close by. If there's no crits, he may arrive in time to steal this. Ooh, it's close! Late Master gets it though, just barely. But now he needs to get out. Uh oh, he's gonna lose another grunt. At least one. Scroll of speed, hex, something. Call before the hex. The hex was too slow. And the scroll of speed as well. And he could go for a Nova now if he held on to the skill point, but he didn't. He went for the Frost Armor standard. So he got another set of heal wards. But he lost another grunt for this, so he basically gave up yeah, two grunts for two items. It was two big items, but it wasn't the, a whole bunch of experience that came with it. It was a level 6 creep, but only the level 6 creep. Good scouting again from the skeleton. Kills another heal ward. Fortunately, he has a couple left. But these grunts should survive, unlike their brothers earlier. 
Early sacrificial pit here. Shade is gonna join him very soon. A player's force are under attack. And the since he has lost two grunts, it's very hard for the SH to solo creep. And that's usually what the orcs would ideally like. Blade Master being uh, harassing, trying to steal items, forcing coils, forcing um, dusts, and the SH getting solo experience. But in fact, the DK is going to steal one. Bam! Long range coil. Keeps experience away from the SH. Still only level one. Same story as game number one. SH struggling. Oh. He could go for some sapper abuse here. He doesn't have a scroll of speed though, so that's not going to work. Blade Master though finds a nice tome here. Getting closer to level 4. Oh, wow. He is going for the Sapper without a scroll of speed. Oh, that's a, quite the risk. If w, is fa w, w of Z is fast enough, this is not gonna work at all. In fact, the DK is nearby. Uh-oh. That is 200... What's it? 255 money. Gone. It is distraction, though, for the SH to keep on creeping himself. Good point by Sword Puppy. Maybe he tried to uh, prioritize these red camps so much because Book of uh, the Dead could have been really, really strong attacking the Acolytes with that. Two armies here very close to each other, and of course, with the Blade Master not being here, the Undead would easily win that fight. Shade is scouting. Is he gonna go? It's not ready though, the second Sapper. Is he gonna go for some Zeppelin harass here? A player's forces are Third hero, attack. Dark Ranger again. Lich, very close to level 3. Is he just going to wait here for the sap? Or dude, it's going to be quite a while. 37 supply only for the orc. Still not level 3. He has the invul at least. And now the shade is trailing the army. And WFZ should feel very confident to take that fight. Sentry ward here. To give him heads, uh, head notice. Of the undead approaching. Which he is. He, you, should, you should run away, dude. You should not stay here. You should not stay here at all. He has a TP as well, by the way. He rebought that one, so he may look for some base race shenanigans. Shade has been revealed. I mean, not, you know, not dust revealed, but <clears throat> the information. Oh, he has a web. How does he have all this lumber? Sacrificial pit, web, and I think he also has destroyer form. Item here, Rune Bracers. At least the Blade Master didn't get him. And here we go. Base race starts. TP home has to come. And he's gonna try to trade that for a scroll of speed. Is there a destroyer to dispel? There is, but he misses the dispel. Coil Nova though does find the kill. As the heal wave was too late. And now it might be time for a Zeppelin. Oh yeah. We're going full lame boys. Does he anticipate this? He did rebuy a TP, so he should be in time to TP home to save his haunted gold mine. How many raiders do we have in here? Only two. Damage honestly isn't too sick. So how quick is he gonna react? He has to TP right away. Back here. Or maybe even inside, you know. The haunted gold mine. Yep, he TP's inside. There is a web, so he really shouldn't risk it. He has to TP out of here. Shout KK. He's staying in though, he's a man. He has lost two raiders so far. Dude, don't do it. Wow. He is falling apart, my god. He has lost everything. Um, he has his tier hero still alive. He can ignore the Zeppelin, and that way the Blade Master will be killed because the TP is on the SH, and everything is fucked! This is the GG. But uh, he disagrees. He's staying in here with 34 supply. Oh, lag. Come on, Eddies. Come on, Eddies. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Another Necropolis. He wants to be very safe. Uh, his 
in case his uh, Lexidel should get sniped so he can still TP home, but that is very unlikely. Blade Master is still dead during the lag spike, and it has moved across. He did rebuy a TP. Level 4 DK, um, no death pact. So I think the Hail Mary play here is trying to go for the DK. Or I guess uh, split push again. There's not even an expansion up for the orc, so um, this is honestly hopeless. But Shao KK is more of a hopeful person than I am, I guess. Still trying. No mining at the moment. And now he admits it. GG! And WZ equalizes. Yeah. Losing two grunts early is very bad. And also the, the sapper was an expensive loss. I wonder if he gets a Book of the Dead early, how much damage he could do with that. Because WFZ is a fast hero player, that means there's always going to be a fast tech. That means that the tech should have been done very soon. Yeah, I don't like that risk at all. I mean, going for the red camp is fine, but if you're scouted, that is just way, way too risky. That, by the way, is the sound that Nettie makes when you get invited, in case you guys were wondering. Um, in our other game, going on at the same time, uh, TH versus TBC, do we have some updates? Does not look like it. I'm going to check out the Chinese streams here. TH is streaming himself. Should you be interested to see what that looks like first person, you can check that out on doyu.com doyu.com slash infiwang or is it inficasting? They share an account sometimes. So looks like TH just won that game just a moment ago. And I think that's the 2-0 for him. Oh wow, it's 1-1? One, one? Really? So TBC won that game on AZ. TBC defeated TH? I, I am quite surprised. Well done, TBC. So there's going to be a third map decider between TH and TBC as well. For who gets into the next round. Upper bracket. I expected with utter certainty for TH and WFZ to make it there without too much trouble. But yeah, have to work a little bit harder today. It's not going to be given out for free now, is it? <clears throat> so, game number three. Here we go. 1-1 one, one between the two. WFZ this time picking the green of the Scourge. Do you guys remember? The first time you see the undead. The Scourge in Lordaeron. The green. And something that a reviewer reminded me of a couple of days ago was that actually when you later on play Sylvanas and her Forsaken, they're actually purple. I had totally forgotten that. Right, this is uh, this is becoming really annoying. This is not cool, bruh. Like my ping accelerator is running, and it says it's working. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Seems to be a little spiky today. <clears throat> 
fast hero build again from WFZ, as always. And two border attack once again from Shop KK. Hmm. Hopefully he gets off to a better mid game this time around, being able to solo creep his SH. It is so important, guys. It is vital to get level 3 SH. Otherwise, in the late game, that hero's poop. Poopy poop poop. That's an advantage that Undead has. The Lich only needs to be level 2 in the late game. Well, in the super late game, he also needs to be level 3. But I mean, like, upon reaching tier 3, Lich needs to be only level 2. SH needs to be level 3. That's a disadvantage for Orcs. And that's why usually we see the top Orcs always play passively nowadays against Undead. Unless they find a very promising opening in the mid game. But if you go across the map trying to kill fiends with a scroll of speed and you don't get any kills, then that's bad for you. Very bad. Ring here and a ring over here as well. Lots of rings for this blade. In that regard, Shao KK certainly a little bit unlucky. Oh, almost threw over my oh, glass there. Alright, we're back. Tech-wise, Undead should be fairly far ahead. Oh, yep. Ah, not too much, though. He's delaying the second ziggurat for quite a while. Interesting choice. Deciding to go first fiend before first ziggurat. That means you're gonna have the first fiend faster, of course. But you're delaying your second fiend by a long time. And the third one as well. Oh, wow. Is he really gonna expand here? He's really gonna expand. That is a super unusual timing. Normally we see it upon tier 2 with a TC second or of course tier 3 tiny great hall. So this may go unscouted and could just win the game for him. Oh, there's a fiend moving across. But you really don't use fiends for scouting. Wow! Herr Wusel! Just donated a whole bunch, holy shit, 50 euros, my man. Thank you so much, he says. Finally, I catched you streaming again. You certainly did. You can do that again tomorrow. On Sunday, tomorrow, we continue with a long stream. Color Cup Group D. And after that, we also have... What do we have? Rust Brain Qualifier, number three. The first tournament we stream of 1.29. This tournament is still 1.28. So, Expo gets cancelled. But unless he kills the peon here as well, he can just set it up again. And I think he'll be able to. He doesn't have lots of necromancy anymore, so killing this peon is difficult. But of course, very predictable that this expo is going to be here again. And since it's an orc expansion, it takes like half a year to finish. But with the SH coming out, he may be able to protect it. But he teched late, so the SH is still about one and a half minutes away. So with a new fiend and with a new rod of necromancy, he can definitely cancel this once more. DK also trying to prevent the ogre kill. Oh, can he get it? Coil, last hit, long range, he gets it! Not the item, of course, which I missed. Sold it immediately. Claws now on the blade as well. Um, Lord Helmy, resubbing with 30 months. Putting his hands up in the air. And... Burned the show. Subscribe as well for the first time. And I'm sorry I forgot about you earlier, Brolock. During the last game, you subbed as well for the first time. Welcome, my man. Does he really expect this expo to be coming up here? Is he really just for some reason certain that there is no expo down there? And of course, wrong about that. Oh, he's almost in time! Oh, he, we saw Grunts getting killed before. With, a, with two coils, it's definitely dead. Doesn't even need it. Nice deny, though. That keeps the DK further away from level 3. He's really gonna let this finish? That is such a massive mistake. He can still pounce on this with a tier 3 timing. But that's a big risk, my man. If you don't win the game there, you're gonna lose the game there. Now, I don't know if it's intentional or what, but it's... it's uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look too intentional. So, Lich... Oh, he's delaying. Oh, no, the Lich is out already. Here he is. DK is level 3. Could he still cancel this now? No, now it's too late. 
town is under siege. He is gonna get, let that finish. Intentional or not. Oh my god, that slaughterhouse pickoff would be such a big deal. Can he do it though? Both grunts are slowed. Good control on the narrow tower. The Unit Army is coming back. Did he hold on to the skill point f this time? This is why you should hold on to the skill point. With the Nova here, he could have gotten both grunts and that would have definitely been worth it. And if, even if he didn't have Frost Armor after that. But as it is, Shao Kekke committed to the Slaughterhouse, didn't get it, lost the grunt, but at least gets his Expo up. Hmm. So, WFZ needs to take out this expansion, of course. He still doesn't know about it, he's still not scouting. Ah, his scouting was so good on map number one and two with the skeletons, but it's uh, really not so great here. Oh, Herr Wuzel resubbing as well! Thank you so much, man! For three months. In the middle now. The ore creeping. Blade Master's gonna get level three at least. Oh, he found the boots, by the way, from the Renegade. But the SH, I don't see getting to level three anytime soon. Lich gets level two here perfectly. Oh, literally perfectly. That was nice. And the DK gets the orb and the dust moving across the map. Uh oh. Right now the DK isn't here though. But. Shao KK doesn't really want to fight. He wants to distract. He wants to attack the base, keep the undead at home, and keep on mining, mining, mining here. He can go for quite some items here as well, with all the monies he has now. Is he taking as well? No, he's staying on tier 2. But his positioning here isn't so good. He should not be here. He should be either here or here, and threatening the base attack. So third hero. Seems like Pit Lord really isn't his thing anymore. Oh, that's a nice level up here for the blade. With only one skeleton kill. Tinker. Alright, he definitely knows there's an expansion. Hmm. Tinker, of course, very vulnerable. Cannot be coiled. Blade Master grabs up the invul here. Heal scroll as well. And the invul, right? Invul's still here. Lich, of course, does not have the invul. Now, losing the Tinker is okay. Losing the Lich. That could win this game for him, perhaps. Or oh, if he gets the shop here, that's a big deal. Scroll of speed to engage. And snare on the Tinker. Alright. And he may get this kill. Frost Armor. Oh, the Blade Master dropping real low. Has to go for the invul super early. There is no heal wave here. SH level 1. He is gonna get the Tinker. But the Pocket Factory is still there. Blade Master's dead. That's not good. Even ghouls here. And the shop isn't gonna survive for too long here, it seems. Tinker coming back from the main. Level 1 hero. Happens pretty fast. But Blade Master can also get uh, bought back very quickly with all the money he has. But no more heal salves. No more invuls. No more clarities. So he's trying with a base attack here to force the undead back. How much damage does he have here? Um, two raiders which are low HP. Oh, and he's attacking the altar first. With repair, that thing should survive, though. Spirit Tower coming up as well. This expo is definitely toast. SH coming back with a TP. Tinker's here. Pocket Factory is pretty nice for attacking Raider Lame, right? I never realized this before. Doesn't have the mana for it at the moment, though. There's a Kodo now. Adding more damage to this Orc army. But it's um, still a pretty shitty Orc army. And now, his own base is in trouble. Boros, very vulnerable, being only tier 2. And here's a pocket factory, which is honestly super nice against raiders. Yeah, this is GG, of course. And that's it! WFZ does win in the end. Surprisingly, losing map number 1. But coming back strong.